Here's a quick little routine that you can do at the end of your practice to stretch out your hamstrings, give your hips a bit of a stretch, and give yourself a twist to just to wind things down. I like to have a little bit of height underneath me just to kind of help my posture and to keep me really nice and lifted. So I'm gonna start with my legs straight forward. And then here, that's where you're gonna figure out, do I need a little bit more height for my hips or am I fine just the way I am? There's no strain in the lower back. I can sit upright with ease. Taking a nice big breath here, bringing my right knee in towards me. I'm gonna cross my right ankle over my left knee like a figure four. Keep your right foot flexed and active. And then inhale to lift up, exhale, fold forward just a little bit right from the hips, trying not to round at the waist, but see if you can get that length of the whole body moving forward. Keeping that left toes pointing towards you, you can maybe even grab a hold of the toes if you like. Breathing here. Getting the hamstring and the calf on that straight leg, getting that stretch sensation. One more breath. And then release, and then just stay in the posture the way it is, keeping your right foot flexed. You're gonna grab a hold of that um, foot with your left hand, and your right hand will hold on to your right knee. And then you're gonna lift that leg up as close to you as you can. You can kind of rock it side to side, see how that feels. So here we're now targeting the hip. And then feel free to even lift the shin a little and bring it into you a little. And you can also just hold on to it any which way you can. And breathing there, try to keep that upright spine. Be careful not to let that slump happen. Push into your sitting bones to stay lifted up. Very nice. One more breath. And now we're gonna put the left foot on the floor and let your right ankle rest on that left knee. Use your hands for support here. So here we got figure four in a different way. And take a couple more breaths. The more you bring your foot in, the more sensation you may feel. Now keeping your legs exactly the way they are, we're just going to let them drop over to the left side. You're gonna to have to sort of move your left foot a little bit over to the right and you'll be on the edge of your left foot as your right foot lands to the floor. Can you keep your right foot flat to the floor with the knee pointing upwards? And just be mindful, did your right hip come up? Maybe just sort of wiggle into it so you can get both your sitting bones down. And so I'm just turning a little bit away from you, but that's okay, just listen to the instruction. And here we'll take it into a twist. Let your left arm wrap around your right leg and kind of hug it in and you may get that sensation of a stretch in your hip. And you can take your right hand behind you and look behind you. One more breath here. And then release. Both hands behind you, lean back so you can get both those legs straight out again. Find your tall upright position. Couple of breaths here, flexing the feet, keeping everything active. One more breath. Next breath, bring your left knee in towards you. Flex the foot, keep it active as you cross the left ankle over that right knee. And just holding here. One more breath. 
And now from here, keep that active leg as you pick your foot up and your knee up and you bring it closer towards you. And then you can start to rock it side to side just to kind of get some juices flowing around that hip joint. And then settle into the center. Feel free to lift the shin a little more and even bring it in a little more. And you can just use your imagination about how you can hold that leg in. And try to keep the upright spine. If you find that you're rounding, then make an adjustment to get a little taller. Very nice, one more breath. Now while we have the leg held up here, we're gonna bring the right foot to the floor so that the ankle and the knee connect again. So here we are back into another variation of figure four. And you can also kind of push yourself towards the shin and that will also give you um, a different sensation. Or you could try bringing the foot, the right foot in closer. So from here, next variation. So notice the shape of your legs. You're going to keep them just the way they are. You start to move your right foot a little over to the left and you're going to end up on the edge of the right foot as your left foot comes to the ground. And you keep your left knee pointing straight up. Did your left hip hike up? If so, make any arrangements that you need to, to get both those sitting bones down. And if it's challenging to keep your foot flat on the floor, you can change the position as well. It can go a little bit in front of you. And then from there, with that tall spine, just wrap the right arm around and hug that left knee in towards us. Let your left hand come behind you to complete your twist. One more breath. And then release from your twist, lean back and then just bring both of the feet to the floor and then let your knees go up to the side as the soles of the feet come together. And we'll make this our final pose. Let your hands come to your shins, inhale, press your hands into the shins to get that length again, inhale. And then exhale, can you hinge right from your hip forward? You go as far as is comfortable for you. You can keep going and moving the hands if you want to, but that's just a personal preference. And you can let your head relax. One more breath. And then let's start to come up by lifting the gaze and then take a cross-legged position and hands to the heart. Thanks, see you again.